Hi, it's Mr. Dang. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a random letter selector. It involves making a table with letters and a button to go ahead and select another letter. A label at the bottom will show the letter that you selected. Let's go ahead and get started. So normally what you would do is you would create a table with all of the things that you want. And then in Power Apps, you can use a formula to select a random one. I'm actually going to be skipping this tables step. And I'll be showing you another function that you can use to create a table with all the letters that you want. Let's open up a blank app. I'll start by creating a button. You could change this to another control uh, for your purposes. This button is going to be for making a table of letters. Inside, I'm going to be starting with a list of letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. This set of letters can be split up using the split function. What this means is it's going to break up each letter into its own row inside a table. So I'm creating a table from this set right here. I'm going to take the result of that split and I'm going to put it inside a collection. I'll call this collection letters. Let me click the button and you'll see what I mean. I'll go to view, collections. Inside the table for letters, you'll see A is its own row, B is in, it, oh, in its own row, C is in its own row, and so on. So the split function successfully split up each of these letters into its own row and put it into a collection. So we bypassed having to in, involve a data source with a list of letters. Next, uh, let me go ahead and put some commenting code here. Uh, split up a each letter into its own row. Collect each row to a table. I'll insert a second button. This button will actually do the randomizing. I'll start by I'll start inside the table letters. I want to shuffle that just like a deck of cards. And like a deck of cards, I'm going to select one of them, the top one. So that's the first one. All of the letters, shuffle them, take the first one. I want to take the result of that and what I'm going to do is I'll set it to a variable called random letter. So whatever letter resulted from shuffling and picking the first one, I'll take its result. Uh, let me go ahead and repeat this. Take all the letters shuffle them, take the first one, and whatever result or whatever letter that was, make the random letter equal to that. I'll add a label at the bottom. This label is going to be showing that random letter. So I'll replace the text property to rand letter, the name of my variable. Let's do some styling. I'd like it centered. Let's give it some boldness. And I'll make the font size pretty big, 192.
when I select the first button, I'm creating my table. I click the second button, it's going to choose a different letter. Notice it selected C and F two times already, and R two times. So the next step is to avoid repeating the same one. What I'll do is I'll collect, I'll make a new collection. I'll call it letters, done. And what I want it to include is I'll, I'll take that letter that I just made, the random letter, and I'll save it as a, uh, into a column inside letters, done. Let me add some commenting code to this. What this means is uh, take the random letter you just made and add it to a collection. I'll say a little bit more. This collection will be used to filter out which letters are done and which are not. OK. So I have my uh, letter that, or my collection that shows all the letters that have been finished. What I'll do here is I'm going to space things out just so you can see what's happening a little bit better because the formula is going to get uh, a little bit more complicated. Instead of all of the letters, I'll use filter. I'm going to filter out those letters. Show me. Check if the result is exactly inside letters done, dot re the, the result column of letters done. What I have here is, oh, the letter. This means show all of the letters where the letter in this table is inside that the, the collection of letters that are done. We actually want the opposite of that. I'll wrap this in parentheses. And I could either write not, or I prefer to write exclamation point, which means the exact same thing. Take the opposite of this. So I'm actually looking at all of the letters where if it's in, if it's a letter that has been done and it's inside that collection, then it won't appear in here because I want the opposite of that. I'll click play. And this time, we should stop at 26 letters. You'll see that the last one is going to be blank. Let me click it faster. That, there it is. Now, what if I wanted to start over? I could start over by clearing the table, letters done. I could put that into my top button where I'm creating the actual table. I'll also make it clear letters done. Let me put some commenting to it here. Clear, oh. clear the table of letters that have been selected so you can start over. And I'll put some commenting code for the randomizer. Filter all the letters to show letters that are, that have not already been selected. In other words, let me put some parentheses in here. They are not in, not in letters done and shuffle them, 
shuffle uh, filter result select the first one only show what is in the result column which is which in this case is the letter itself so pretty much you're just selecting a random letter Okay, let's try it again. I reset it. I'm going to select random letters, and it should stop at 26 times. Let's do some more, a little bit more styling. Suppose you wanted uppercase letter. In the text field, I could wrap rand letter with upper. This would, uh, this would make whatever letter appears as up in uppercase. Another location where I could do that is right here. This string, I could wrap it around upper. And I, this would be changing the actual source so that all of the letters that come out will be uppercase. You could choose where you would like it, whether you would want it permanently uppercase or just uppercase when you're showing it here. And that's all it takes to select a random letter. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more interesting power apps, please subscribe.